hello welcome to travel worker vlog on today's episode i'll be doing the review of one of the most important tourist attractions in ghana now before i proceed please kindly subscribe to my channel click on the notifications icon so that every time we make a new post you won't miss it this is the Kwame Nkrumah Park and Mausoleum in Accra, Ghana. Now, just in case you're wondering, who is Kwame Nkrumah? Kwame Nkrumah was the first Ghana president and he was also the guy that led the um, liberation of the Ghana people from the British, which means he led the call for Ghana's independence. Now, this call made Ghana the first African country to gain independence. Now, this is one of the reasons why Kwame Kuma is well celebrated in Africa. However, in 1966, he was overthrown through a coup, which left him, which this is one of the reasons why he went on exile to Guinea, where he became a co-president. Now, this list is surrounded by 12 flute-bearing um, men, so which is a sign of um, the diverse culture of the Ghanaian people. Now, the Kwame Nkrumah Park and Mausoleum is basically divided into two. We have the mausoleum sitting majestically in the center of the um, park. And we also have the other one, which is the um, museum. This is where you can read more about um, Kwame Nkrumah, his, his career, his education, his family, and everything you need to know about him. Now, standing right before me is the Kwame Nkrumah bronze statue. Now, this is very significant because this is the exact part he stood to, to declare Ghana's independence. The mausoleum was built in 1992. This is to you know, celebrate the life and death of this great man. After he died in, you know, uh, in exile, he was buried in Guinea. But after a while, his mother asked for his remains to be brought back to Ghana. He decided to build this place for him, which has become his final resting place. The mausoleum was built by a Ghanaian um, architect named Don Otto. He designed this mausoleum to, which is more like the reverse of a um, sword, which means, which is basically a sword pointing upside down. Now this is where he was buried, and this place is actually made of fine Italian marble. This is the final resting place of Kwame Nkrumah. Now this was built in 1992 after it was. Um, brought back from um, Guinea. He was first buried in his family house in Ghana. Then after a while, they decided because of the role he played in Ghana politics, so they felt he deserved something better. And that was why they built this place for It him. was made of fine Italian marble. And um, outside this place is the museum. Now museum, um, cameras are not allowed in the museum, so you might not be able to see the inside, but um, I will try to show you everything you need to, to know about this museum. It has different sections where you can see um, the personal effect um, of Kwame Nkrumah. You can also, there's also a section of this museum that has Kwame Nkrumah's car. Another section of this museum has um, pictures of some of the past presidents he has worked with in the past. So, coming here will actually give you everything you need to know about this great man. He's not just a, a politician, he's one of the people that, you know, helped, that liberated Africa from, uh, from colonialism. So, this is one of the reasons why he was celebrated. He was also a pioneer member of the um, African Union. So, he was a part of the people that created the African Union. Now, this is one of the reasons why he's well celebrated in Ghana and in Africa as a whole. In front of the museum is an endless statue of Kwame Nkrumah. Now, before you judge or say anything, you need to understand the history or the reason behind this. Now, this statue used to be in front of the parliament house. But after the 1966 coup, mobs invade, invaded the parliament house and they attacked this um, statue and it was destroyed. However, someone stole the head. And it was not found until many years later where a good Samaritan returned this back to the government. And this is the reason why the head and the body is not together. Now, that is the history behind this particular statue here. Now, some of you might be wondering why it can't be put back. Sometimes it's just always better to preserve history for generations to come. And this is the reason why we have the head and the body separate. So now this is everything you need to know about Kwame Nkrumah Park and Mausoleum in Accra, Ghana. 
So the next time you visit Ghana, make sure you visit this park to learn more about the struggle, the pain, and the sacrifices this man made. For so, and don't forget to subscribe, click on the notification icon, and if you find this post very interesting, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.